as we move on to the next clip where I'm going to explain a little bit more about this, I just want to say to you that the photograph just doesn't do the power of the room, the, the building in which it's taken justice at all. And if you can get a chance to get up to Buxton to have a look at it, just do that. I also want to tell you that there is never a good time to cut yourself shaving. When you got some time scheduled to do a clip for YouTube is a particularly bad time so I do apologize for what looks like some creature trying to climb up my face it's not I cut myself shaving so let's take a look and see if we can uh, get a bit more clarity about why I use this image hi there uh, thanks for joining me you know I get asked about um, why we use this particular image on some of our YouTube clips and I'll tell you where it is first it's the uh, the Devonshire Hall um, which is in Buxton and uh, it's just a beautiful place I had a great couple of days there so the history of it is that uh, it was originally built by the Duke of Devonshire who was determined to make Buxton the sort of bath of the north in Spa Town and he assembled this, he, bu he built this and would you believe it was originally a stables now that dome is as big as the one in St Peter's in Rome stables so but it's clearly not an issue here is it so the railways arrive and with the advent of the railways arriving we don't need so many horses so it changes purpose it's repurposed and it becomes a hospital and it stays that way till 2006 when it's closed as a hospital it's bought by the university of derby who now uses it as a conference center uh, it's an events hall you know it's hired out and uh, yeah it, it is just fabulous and a couple of things really occur to me when you go in there the amount of light that floods in through that dome is absolutely sensational you know it's just it's breathtaking also the quality of sound is such that it's very easy to hear people and very easy to be heard so i thought that was quite a powerful image about where i'd like some of our coaching to take us some of our development work to take us that it's about letting in some light and also about giving some space so that we can speak and be heard that's my thinking there so i hope that makes a wee bit of sense but something else also occurred to me that building has been in continuous change it's evolved and maybe that's something that we are faced with um, all too often that we are required to shift so the whole lot came together in a beautiful little metaphor for me and I hope it's something that works for you. Thank you. So just before I go, here's a, another few seconds of a same fabulous building. I really do, can recommend the place. I'm, I'm not taking anything from the Buxton Tourist Board or anything like that. Uh, it, it just is a, a, a great place to be, a very tranquil and reflective space. I wonder if there's any light that you would like shedding on um, issues that are challenging you at the moment, whether individually or as part of um, a, a team at work, um, I wonder what you would like to be heard saying and what it is you think you would like to listen to. And if that resonates anywhere, then please feel free to get in touch. Uh, we can always have a conversation about that. And if it's not something that you particularly need, well, I hope that you enjoyed the, the content of this and you, you know a little bit more about something that's happening maybe not too far from some of our doorsteps. Take care now. Bye-bye.